the P.J. Fitzpatrick Home Improvement News Desk. New Jersey's most listened to station. New Jersey 101.5 News starts now. It's 5 o'clock. I'm Erin Vogt. Topping a report this hour, state lawmakers are considering a proposal that would create a stand-your-ground law here in New Jersey. The bill would expand legal use of force when acting in self-defense. Controversial stand-your-ground laws became widely known over a decade ago as the winning defense in Florida by George Zimmerman for the shooting and killing of 17-year-old Trayvon Martin. In Trenton, the Republican-backed proposal is expected to fail in the Democratic-controlled legislature. Summer camp will start up in about two months here in New Jersey. Alicia Scovera, executive director of the American Camp Association for New York and New Jersey, says there's still time to find a spot for your child, but some camps are already operating with wait lists. There are day camps that allow you to choose only the weeks that you are available. Many camps are in hiring mode as well. You need to be at least 16 years of age to work at a day camp and 18 in order to work at an overnight program. And all four teams in the finales of the NBA play-in tournament on a Friday night are dealing with injury issues. Chicago goes to Miami as Sacramento plays at New Orleans. Now the Rue Insurance Business Report. Stocks end the week up. Starbucks stores are looking to ease a problem growing plastic waste from single-use cups that frappuccinos, refreshers, cold brews, and other iced drinks are served in. Starbucks say the cold drinks now make up 75% of U.S. sales. New disposable cups with up to 20% less plastic are being rolled out this month. On Wall Street, the Dow closed up 211 points at 37,986. In business, anything can happen. Be ready with Rue Insurance. For benefits, business, and personal insurance, visit RueInsurance.com. Hear the latest New Jersey 101.5 newscast when you want, where you want, and on demand. Go to NJ1015.com and click On Demand. Staying cooler for how long? Chief Meteorologist Dan Zaro's complete forecast is coming up. New Jersey fast traffic in one minute. New Jersey 101.5 in skin weather. A cold front is set to arrive tomorrow morning. After one last batch of showers, we'll finally clear out of this junky weather pattern. Patchy drizzle and fog are a possibility overnight tonight. It's going to feel damp and dreary and raw. Low temperatures in the upper 40s. One more push of showers around mid-morning tomorrow. Then clearing to sunshine. It will be breezy for your Saturday. High temperatures improve to around 60 to 65. Sunday, partly sunny and dry. Temperatures scale back a little bit. Highs in the upper 50s. Monday looks good. Sunny and seasonable with highs back in the lower 60s. From the Edison Heating and Cooling Weather Desk, I'm Chief Meteorologist Dan Zarrow. In Andover, it's 53. Monroe, 57. Seaside Heights, 55. Fast traffic and instant weather every 15 minutes on New Jersey 101.5. New Jersey weather brought to you by the New Jersey Department of Agriculture. Jersey fresh asparagus is great roasted, grilled, or raw. And it's full of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Now's the season for nutritious, local Jersey Fresh asparagus. Pick some up at your favorite market today. Jersey Fresh, the freshest for 40 years. JerseyFresh.com. Not New York, not Philadelphia. We're proud to be Jersey's own. New Jersey 101.5. Join the conversation. New Jersey 101.5. Hey, Doyle, get on that radio. Parks Casino.